Before you start some work, always ask yourself three questions. Why am I doing it? What the results might be and will I be successful? Only when you think deeply and find satisfactory answers to these questions, go ahead. A person should not be too honest. Straight trees are cut first and honest people are screwed first. 3. The world's biggest power is the youth and beauty of a woman. Dot once you start working on something, don't be afraid of failure and don't abandon it. People who work sincerely are the happiest. The fragrance of flowers spreads only in the direction of the wind. But the goodness of a person spreads in all directions. There is some self-interest behind every friendship. There is no friendship without self-interests. This is a bitter truth. God is not present in idols. Your feelings are your God. The soul is your temple. Education is the best friend. An educated person is respected everywhere. Education beats the beauty and the youth. As soon as the fear approaches near, attack and destroy it. The biggest guru mantra is, never share your secrets with anybody. It will destroy you. He who is overly attached to his family members experiences fear and sorrow, for the root of all grief is attachment. The one excellent thing that can be learned from a lion is that whatever a man intends doing should be done by him with a wholehearted and strenuous effort. Even if a snake is not poisonous, it should pretend to be venomous. Treat your kid like a darling for the first five years. For the next five years, scold them. By the time they turn 16, treat them like a friend. Your grown-up children are your best friends. A person who has not been disciplined cannot be disciplined by others. A man is born alone and dies alone, and he experiences the good and bad consequences of his karma alone, and he goes alone to hell or the supreme abode. A wise man should not reveal his loss of wealth, the vexation of his mind, the misconduct of his own wife, base words spoken by others, and disgrace that has befallen him. There is poison in the fang of the serpent, in the mouth of the fly and in the sting of a scorpion, but the wicked man is saturated with it. Purity of speech, of the mind, of the senses, and of a compassionate heart are needed by one who desires to rise to the divine platform. The biggest strength of a person is their patience. Test a servant while in the discharge of his duty, a relative in difficulty, a friend in adversity, and a wife in misfortune. A man should never be too trustful, even of his own shadow. Do not be very upright in your dealings for you would see by going to the forest that straight trees are cut down while crooked ones are left standing. The world respects those who are self-dependent. Before learning to control others, one must learn to control oneself. The wise man should restrain his senses like the crane and accomplish his purpose with due knowledge of his place, time, and ability. There is no austerity equal to a balanced mind, and there is no happiness equal to contentment. There is no disease like covetousness, and no virtue like mercy. The happiness and peace attained by those satisfied by the nectar of spiritual tranquility is not attained by greedy persons restlessly moving here and there. The most important duty of a person is to protect his wealth from theft. A person's own self is his friend or enemy, for he dwells within his self. Time perfects all living beings as well as kills them, it alone is awake when all others are asleep. Time is insurmountable. A person desiring to be beautiful should shun greed, false knowledge, anger, and harshness. He who is not shy in the acquisition of wealth, grain, and knowledge, and in taking his meals, will be happy. Never make friends with people who are above or below you in status. Such friendships will never give you any happiness. The fragrance of flowers spreads only in the direction of the wind. But the goodness of a person spreads in all directions. He who loses his wealth is deserted by his friends, his wife, his servants, and his relations. He who is in possession of wealth commands respect. Just as a snake sheds its skin, we must shed our past over and over again. A king, though he may be strong and mighty, is respected when he lives in his capital. A wise man should not unseasonably reprove the king, nor should he address him in anger or covetousness. A person who has no compassion for helpless animals cannot be considered human. Knowledge is lost without putting it into practice, a man is lost due to ignorance, an army is lost without a commander, and a woman is lost without a husband. One who is too much attached to his family members experiences fear and sorrow, for the root of all grief is attachment. Thus, one should discard attachment to be happy. 
one who is not respected in his own village will be considered as lowly wherever he goes. When the husband is pleased, the wife gains religious merit. A wise man should marry a virgin of a respectable family even if she is deformed. He should not marry one of a low-class family, through beauty. The wise man should be industrious in all proper forms of activity and should work without deception. One whose knowledge is confined to books and whose wealth is in the possession of others can use neither his knowledge nor wealth when the need for them arises. The lamp eats up the darkness and therefore it produces lamp waste. Similarly, if a person achieves his desires, he consumes his own merits. He who runs away from a fearful calamity, a foreign invasion, a terrible famine, and the companionship of wicked men is safe. Thanks for watching.